Here's that new Uzi style gel blaster from SRCOOAT, Circuot. And um, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do a little setup here and uh, some tips and tricks about gel beads and stuff while we do that. Now, one thing to point out too is this is actually a really nice kind of manual uh, when it comes to gel blasters. This is pretty thorough with your tips about your gel beads right here telling you all about this. So that's nice that they put that in there. You know, it's a nice thick um, laminate type uh, paper here, so that should last if you need to refer to something. Of course, I'm gonna talk about a lot of that stuff as we go. So let's go right about, let's talk right about the gel balls, okay? So you got all these gel beads here. And the importance with these is that when you soak them, you need them to get to seven to eight millimeters. That's the maximum size they can get to, and that's what they need to get to for this to function properly. All right, so it's ideal to soak them for four to six hours. I think it's easiest just to soak them overnight. So I just soak them overnight, use plenty of water because the gel balls can't get bigger than seven to eight millimeters. So if you use plenty of water, if there's extra water in the morning, you can strain it off and you can go ahead and you'll know that they're big enough. If you don't use enough water and you go to check your gel balls and there's no excess water, it's unlikely that they're big enough and then your blaster is probably not gonna function. I use little kind of Tupperware containers like this. Works pretty well, it's pretty easy to use. So that's what I do and I soak them overnight and it works out good. So I had some all ready to go. So there, I already got a little grenade full of them. But that's important, make sure you use plenty of water, make sure you soak them long enough, okay? So we'll put those over to the side. The other thing to point out too is when you're done playing, since this has a grenade hopper, you can go ahead and just take this off and seal it up these should last a little while, but they won't last forever. They kind of start to degrade and they will, um, you know, they'll just break really easy and they won't perform well. So you try not to make a bunch of extra ones um, if you don't plan on using them because they do seem to degrade, um, you know, even if you keep them in a tight container like that. So when you're done playing, if you have any left in here, take the grenade hopper off the blaster always, put a lid on it tight, and then just kind of make sure there's no extra gel balls that are inside the blaster, you know, shake it out or shoot it until you're, you're sure it's clear. Because otherwise those balls just stay in there, they um, start to evaporate, the water does, there's just little chunks and pieces that can cause clogging, okay? So we got your battery here and your charger, right? So you're just gonna have this clipped in, this is plugging into any AC adapter, and you're just gonna charge it. it takes probably a couple hours to charge it initially, there's usually a light flashing while it's charging and then a solid light when it's good to go. It's a 7.4 volt, 600 mAh battery, okay? So we've got that. All right, so let's start looking at the blaster and we need to go ahead and put the battery in. So we'll do that first. So you see how that door just slid open like that? Obviously, that's where the battery goes. So as I mentioned with all of these, you know, you have to be kind and patient with these harnesses. If you get them stuck on something and your battery's not coming out easy, just take your time. Don't uh, try to rip it out. You definitely can damage the harness. Now, I do believe that that's what these ribbons are here for, just to make it easier to get that battery out, and that's actually a great idea. So I have not seen anyone incorporate that, but it, it makes sense to do something like that. So the battery's in there. I kind of always like to, before we even go any further, let's just make sure it's all working properly. It sure is. So here's your on off switch, which kind of works as your safety as well. So push when it's all the way to the back, it's on, all the way to the forward, it's off. All right, so we've got that ready. Now, this here is made to store gel balls. So you could just fill this up to store them, to have them with you when you're playing, because that way you'll have extra ones available, okay? So you would just go ahead and take some of these, like this is a little you know loading device that you can use. You can use a funnel, you can use your hand, just kind of whatever works best for you. So I just put, put some in there um, just to show you how that works, right? Be careful if you're filling this. I, I would not do it inside the house. If you drop these, they just are very hard to pick up. So, all right, so this should slide right in here and let's see if we pick the right way. All right. So it should only go in one direction, and then it looks like the release is right here, okay? Yep, so that's how you can kind of tell there's this divot right here, and that needs to be towards the back because that's what's catching when you push it in there, all right? 
So we've got that set. Muzzle, this should just push on. Yep, just push it on there, good to go. If you wanna use the little clip here, you can just clip this right here, all right? And then lastly, this should just slide on until we'll slide it the other way. There we go. It should slide on and then lock in place, and it has, all right? You can make sure you can look down there, the holes right there. So now we're ready to go. Just gonna take your grenade of gel balls. I find it easiest just to turn the gun kind of upside down like this, right? That way you're not losing any gel balls. Just screw it on, don't go crazy tight. You can break these too if you screw too tight. You're good to go. So this should be a fun gun. I'm looking forward to shooting it. You know, it's kind of pistol style, which is cool. Um, and just the whole, you know, having the, the Uzi. Like I said, this is the only Uzi type model I've seen so far. So again, this is our brand here. It's S-R-C-O-O-A-T. And this is their Uzi style gel blaster. I've uh, spoken with this company and they have a lot more gel blasters they hope to introduce over here to the US market. So they should have some others listed on there as well. And they talked that they have some more designs coming soon. Um, personally, I, I don't mind this design at all. I think it's, um, it's appealing and it's uh, different enough so it doesn't look too real for the US market, uh, but it's not you know too childish, I guess, either. So anyway, come back, check the demo video. We'll shoot it, we'll test some FPS and uh, just see how it does.